late Bruce Lee, a legendary figure in the martial arts world. His art, Jit Kune Do, continues to stay alive today. Richard Bustillo, director and co-founder of the IMB Academy. He's always in high demand, the International Martial Arts Seminar Circuit. Ted Wong, trained with Bruce Lee toward the later stages of Jit Kune Do development, becoming Lee's last major private student and considered his protege. Jit Kune Do never intended to have any limitations, and it continued to be modified and improved by the late Bruce Lee. Although this video can never replace the actual teaching and knowledge that Bruce Lee possessed, it will enhance you, the serious martial artist, in developing your skill in fighting. This video will consist of warm-ups, basic exercises, on guard position, footwork, power training, speed training, and self-defense techniques. Traditionally, when he started off in 1964, when he taught me, we raised the left heel up. This thing is pointed in, and this is what he referred to as the Bai Jong stance like this, okay? So I'm gonna start off first with the basic footwork. This is a step and slide shuffle, step and slide back. Okay, so this is the first two. Advance, retreat, move to the right, and move to the left. In the beginning of those earlier years, in 1964, they always went with the right lead. But as time went on, we decided to go both left and right lead. So we again practice our footwork with advance, retreat, move to the left, move to the right. Then we advance and retreat in one motion, and we retreat and advance. Double advance, double retreat, double left, and double right. This should be also done on the right lead as I'm doing here very slowly, okay? And switching over as so, okay? The basic footwork in which we use, okay? This method here, he taught us also, is slide step. And slide and step advance. So you slide the step, then you take a step out. Slide, and then step, slide and step, slide and step. And left lead, it will look something like this. Slide and step, slide and step back, slide and step. This stance is wide. It offers good stability, but minimum mobility. The stance on the right is too narrow with a growing open. It has good mobility, but minimum stability. The unguard position is the best of both stances. The raised heel is to push off for speed. The feet are a little wider than shoulder width apart. At this time, let's demonstrate some of the footwork that we use. The push shuffle is the first footwork that you learn in JKD. It is a direct forward motion and a direct backward motion. When you first start, go slow to maintain balance. The speed will come when you're comfortable with the movement. To move forward, you push off with a 